Welcome back to Ten Island Gaming. Today we have a battle between Empire and Wood Elves. Uh, I, we're doing Swedish comp. I have a comp score of 19, so it's quite a soft list with a theme, as you can see. So I'll go through my list. Uh, this is my level 2, um, Treeman Ancient. He has the Lore of Life. That's also my general. Then I have another level 2, Treeman Ancient, also level 2. For heroes, I have a Branch Wraith. Um, and also one spell singer level 2 of metal. For core, I have 4 units of 10 dryads. I have 15 archers with true flight arrow and the musician. For special, I have 8 treekin. And for rare, I have 2 great eagles and 2 tree men with strangled root. For spells, my general rolled up flesh to stone and throne of vines. The other tree men ancient rolled up. The Dwellers Below and Regrowth. My level 1 Branch Wraith rolled up Earthblood. And my level 2 of Metal rolled up Searing Doom and Plague of Rust. That's my 2400 points of Tree Army. Yes, so for the Empire Army today I brought a level 4 Wizard with a Dispel Scroll and Talisman of Preservation. Then I brought a Grand Master with a Rune Fang, Iron Curse Icon and Seed of Rebirth. For the Heroes I have a a warrior priest with heavy armor and the enchanted shield, and a captain with a armor of silver and steel, uh, who is also a BSB. For core, I got 48 halberdiers with full command and 9 uh, inner circle knights with full command. I have uh, 28 great swords with a standard of discipline, 2 units of 5 outriders, and a great cannon. And for rare, I got a steam tank and a headmaster volleyball. And your comp score is? 11.2. Uh, 11.2. .2. And for magic, I rolled up the dwellers below, regrowth, awakening of the wood, and flesh to stone. Turn 1 I had no charges, I moved up quite aggressively with almost everything, just to close the gap to his war machines basically. Uh, now it's on to Winds of Magic and shooting. Turn 1, in the magic phase, uh, first off I lost concentration with my general, trying to cast Throne of Vine, Vines with 2 dice. Then I 6 uh, diced Dwellers Blow on his Halberdiers but he used his scroll. Uh, for shooting, the 15 Glade Guards managed to kill the Great Cannon with some lucky rolls. Now it's on to Empire turn 1 since there's no close, com close combat. So in the Empire moment phase I tried to make a Hail Mary charge with my Knights but I failed. And he also failed with his uh, uh, stand and shoot to cause any wounds. And then with my Steam Tank I only got 2 Steam Points and I moved forward. Six inches, and I shimmed these units forward a bit and moved these guys out of the woods there. So in the Empire Magic phase, I managed to get off the flesh to stone on my knights, and I failed to cast. Uh, no, I, I cast Weller, but you, my opponent dispelled it. Yeah. And in the shooting phase, I put five wounds on those guys with my outriders. I put two uh, wounds on those with my Hellblaster, and I put three wounds on those guys with my outriders. Turn 2, in the movement phase I tried to charge the Dryads into his Outriders, but I came up short. Moved up here, pivoted around and moved up the Dryads to block his potential charge. Went up with the General and uh, the other Ancient, as you see. Stayed with the Dryads, Dryads and Archers just to have a backline. And here also managed to charge against the Outriders on the left flank. Uh, now it's on to Winds of Magic and shoot. Turn 2, in the magic phase, I got really lucky and got 3 channels, so I had a, an advantage there. Then I 4 dice Searing Doom onto his steam tank, and I did 4 wounds. 
and then I was a bit cheesy and six dice dwellers below managed to get it and he didn't uh, he tried to dispel it but I won the roll off basically and killed 21 halberdiers for shooting I killed one of the outriders with uh, strangle root and uh, yeah now it's on to close combat over here close combat phase the dryads killed two outriders and he killed one so I won the combat but he stayed now it's on to Emperor turn 2. So in the Empire uh, turn, I charged his Great Eagle. I charged uh, Dryads with these two units and I moved my Steam Tank over here. Yes, so in the Empire Magic phase, I managed to cast Regrowth and put back four wounds also with the uh, lore attributes. Then I failed to uh, I cast Flesh to Stone, but uh, it got dispelled. And in the shooting phase, I put one wound on uh, these trees here with my Hellblaster, and I killed one of the Dryads with my Outriders. So in the Empire uh, close combat phase, he killed two of my Outriders, and they didn't do any wounds back, but they managed to stick around. My Knights killed his Eagle and uh, reformed on the spot a little bit. And here, he killed my Warrior Priest and one of the Halberdiers with his Dryads, and I killed his units back with my both of my units. Turn 3. By the way, the Emperor play player chose to reform his Halberdiers, as you see here. In my turn, I tried to charge the Dryads into his Outriders, but he fled. I also tried to charge the three men into the flank of the Halberdiers, but I didn't reach. The three kin went in. Uh, moved around here, the Ancients, so they are out of range from the Hellblaster. Moved up the Eagle to block his charge, and uh, here I back down slightly to get out of his charge arc, or length, basically. He moved on the side, as you see, and they are remaining in combat. Now it's on to shooting and winds of magic. In the magic phase I only got three dice, and I tried to cast flesh to stone, but I only got four, so I didn't get it. In the shooting phase, uh, I killed one knight over here, and that was it. Now it's on to close combat. In the close combat phase, uh, on the left flank, I managed to kill the last outrider and reformed, as you see. And uh, in the main combat over here with the Treekin and Halberdiers, I broke his steadfast by one model actually. So uh, yeah, he needed double ones to stay. He, f yeah, he fled, and I tried to catch him, but I fell by one. So I'm right behind him. Now it's over to Empire, turn 3. Yes, so in the Empire movement phase I moved up the knights, I marched in there. Uh, I got a misfire when trying to generate steam points, which resulted in him not getting any steam points at all. I pivoted uh, the swordsman, I rallied the halberdiers, and uh, my outriders on the left flank fled off the table. So in the magic phase, I managed to get off uh, regrowth on this unit and also healed one wound with the lore attribute on this one. And then I cast uh, the little version of Dwellers and killed four of his uh, Treekin. And in my shooting phase, I managed to roll three misfires on my uh, Hellblaster, uh, which removed the Hellblaster, but I also killed one of those with the result of the misfire. Turn 4, uh, tried to charge both of these, the Treeman and the Treeman Ancient, but only the Treeman Ancient succeeded, came into the flank of the Great Swords, charged the Treekin into his Halberdiers, uh, moved up on the flank here with the Dryads. Over here I went forward with the Dryads to block his charge, back down the Archers, moved the Treeman Ancients on the flank and uh, reformed as you see here. Now it's on to Winds of Magic and shooting. Phase, I tried to cast Searing Doom on his knights, uh, I didn't get it, and then I tried to six dice the Dwellers below, but he managed to dispel it as well. So not much happened. In the shooting phase, nothing happened, he made all the saves in the knights when I shot with the archers. Now it's on to close combat over here. In the close combat phase, I uh, broke the halberdiers, um, they fled off, and I reformed as you see. Here. I did four wounds to the unit and he did one back. He won because he had a musician and ranks. I also tried to three whack the musician, uh, the, the mage, but he managed his initiative test. Now it's on to the Empire turn four. 
so in the Empire Movement phase, I uh, got uh, four steam points with this uh, steam tank. I went into his uh, Great Eagle and killed it with impact hits. And I charged his Dryads with my unit over there. Yes, so in the Magic phase, I tried to cast uh, Flesh to Stone, but uh, well, the opponent dispelled it. And then I cast uh, Regrowth, uh, getting three models back. So in the close combat phase, I uh, broke his unit uh, with my knights and I r ran him down in pursuit. And here uh, I won the combat. Uh, he killed one of my guys and I put one wound on him. Two. Two wounds on him. <laughs> one with my uh, wizard lord. Uh, but he stuck around due to stubborn. Turn five, I charge a second tree man into the, his great swords, and I charge the other tree man into the back of the steam tank. Here he just moved around, as you see. Uh, same as here, I just, I'm just dancing around his knight unit. I don't know how to deal with it yet, so. Now it's on to Wings of Magic and Shooting. In the Magic phase, uh, I tried to cast Searing Doom on his Knight unit, but uh, he dispelled it. Then I six dice Dwellers below, and he managed all the, tough, uh, the strength tests. After that, I shot with 15 arrows and actually killed two Knights. And that was all for uh, Magic and Shooting. Now it's on to Close Combat over here. Turn 5. In the Close Combat phase, I tree whacked his Steam Tank, and I did 5 wounds. Over here, uh, the combined efforts of the new tree man and the ancient killed the mage finally, did three wounds and then they thunder stomped so yeah a couple of them died but he's stubborn and reformed as you see. Now it's on to Empire turn 5. Yes, so in the movement phase uh, it wasn't much left to do, I uh, marched with these guys up here and uh, that was it. Uh, yes, so in the fighting combat phase I made a few wounds with my steam gun on this and in return he put three wounds uh, with his tree whack on my steam tank. And here he killed uh, ten of my great swords and I did uh, nothing in return, I think. Yes. Uh, I moved the tree man ancient in front of his knight boss uh, just to block him. And uh, hopefully I can destroy him before he gets to charge, but who knows. Over here I uh, flank and rear charged his very brave Greatsword unit. And that was it. So now it's on to Winds of Magic and shooting. Wood of turn 6 in the magic phase. I started with 6 dice in Dwellers Blow, since he has no mage left. Uh, I killed 2 knights and it actually panicked them, so they fled. Then after that I tried to cast Searing Doom, but he dispelled it. And lastly I got off... Throne of Vines just to heal up my general over here. For shooting I also killed two knights. Yeah. So now it's on to close combat over here. Oh, in the close combat phase, they are still alive, uh, but quite decimated. But they held. So now it's on to the last turn for Empire. That's the end of the game. Uh, killed the steam tank, actually it killed himself. But, and uh, here I won as well, broke them finally. So at the end of the game it's a really huge victory for the Woodolf with Swedish comp as well since I had 19 and he had 12 I believe or 11. 11 yeah, so it was a yeah, huge victory. But uh, anyway I think the main point was when I killed his cannon in the first turn with my archers. He really didn't have anything to threaten my free man with. But it was a fun game and uh, fun to play with the tree king army first time. So, hope you enjoyed the battle rep and we'll see you next time. Bye.